welcome back to another episode of Man Up, the podcast that puts you in the driver's seat of your life. Are you tired of being pushed around? Do you feel like people take advantage of you, you know, walk all over you? Well, today we say goodbye to that loser and hello to a brand new you, a confident you, an assertive you, a magnetic you. And I'm here to show you the way. Say it with me. I will not be a pushover. One more time. I will not be a pushover. Oh, hi. Vanessa, hi. I'm just thinking about you. You were? Aw, that's so nice. I wouldn't call it nice. I love that you're nice. Hey, I was just thinking about our big romantic getaway this weekend. Are you excited? Just you and me? Yeah, so about that, Michael. Would you be okay with it if my friend Kelly came with us? Well, Vanessa, actually, as a matter of fact, as your partner uh, and as a man, I believe we should do this trip, the two of us, as we planned. Well, Kelly just got dumped and... There was a time in my life where I was like in a really dark place and Kelly was so there for me. I mean, you wouldn't want to date someone who would like abandon their best friend in their most desperate time of need, would you? I'm sure I'll really enjoy getting to know Kelly and meeting Kelly and, and we'll have a great time the, on our trip that we planned for us. Are you sure there's no more rooms? Michael, no, it's fine. We'll share a room. I can't be alone right now. I can only hold the door for so long. Vanessa, could you give me a hand? Did you only bring two chairs? Yeah. I only brought two chairs. There's three of us. I'm not a person. You are a There's person. You are a person. Can we take a second to cool down in the water? Michael, Kelly doesn't want to swim, so we're not swimming. We got to do something else. Okay. Vanessa, can we just have a talk? Just talk for a second. Yeah. Kelly is driving me nuts, okay? He's, he's just absorbing all your attention on our special time. Michael, imagine this for one second. I'm breaking up with you right now. Oh, ow. Okay? I'm breaking up with you right now. And how does it feel? Bad, it feels terrible. Don't break up with me. That is how Kelly feels right now. That is how Kelly feels. Okay, hold on, Vanessa. We can just sink off for a second and have a little bit of nice time here. Just leave Kelly on the beach, okay? You think he'll be okay? He'll be fine. Look at him. He'll eventually be fine. Would you say you have a boat license or that you made one up at the dock there? Okay, do you want any tips? Let's get tips. Uh, how about this? That's the front, this is the back. Okay, let's get at it. Okay. I just remember when someone doesn't want tips, they don't have to have tips. What's that supposed to mean? He didn't do it right. Well, he said he didn't want any tips. You should give him tips. Well, he's a, he's a male. He doesn't want. He doesn't need tips. Sometimes men need to be given tips. Kelly, if you pull on that rope one more time, I'm gonna strangle you with it. Kelly, stop pulling on the rope. I'm trying to help him. Yes. Did you see that time? I did. I can do it. I, Kelly. What? I did it! Did you see? What an incredible experience that was. Look at me, I'm a water person. I'm gonna dedicate my life to it. No, I ride the board! Oh, Kelly, you just gotta try it. If I try, will you shut up? Yes, you will. 
Fine, I'll try it. Okay, well, straighten your arms out, because that's important. You said you'd shut up. Here, take the no, rope. No, I'm going to get back on no, the boat. No, don't get back on the boat. Oh, God. Goodbye. Michael, I don't think he's okay. He's fine. He's wearing a life jacket. <laughs> Go help him. I will. I saved him. He's okay. He's going to be all right. You know, when I was coming up through the levels, bronze medallion, silver medallion, gold medallion, platinum medallion, diamond medallion, yeah. people were really admiring my natural moral instinct in the water. You felt so strong and safe. I felt safe with you, but do you ever worry that your strength might hurt the person you're trying to save? I do worry about that. I don't feel good. Well, Michael and I are just talking right now. It's just about him and how he's doing. Well, and, and about Kelly and how Kelly's still alive, thanks to me. I got too much sun and I don't feel good. She always does this. You always do this. Do what? Whenever you're not the center of attention, all of a sudden you're mysteriously sick. Me? Yes. Me needing to be the center of attention? Yeah. After you spent the entire day rolling around on the public beach moaning and groaning because one of your three-month relationships has dissolved again. I can't believe you'd bring that up. You've derailed the weekend with it as a, as a subject matter. I'm a burden. Clearly, I'm a burden. Finally, a you bit of self-awareness. You know what? I'm just going to leave. Don't go. I'm going to go. No, let him I'm go. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. Let him go. He does this all of the time. And I just wanted you to myself. What? Really? I want to go back to the hotel. I just had a lot of pizza. I don't care. Let's go. No, get your stuff. Let's go. You want me to bring the pizza? Shut up. Is that Let's go. Okay, what did you say it's called? Battle Bluffs? I feel like it's like a 30 minute drive from here. Have you to get Kelly? To uh, no, but honestly, that is not unusual uh, for him. Kelly? Michael, it's fine. He's an adult. Like, why do you care so much? It's like... Kelly! I'm in love! <gasps> Michael, oh, here we go. Vanessa and Michael, it's the real thing this time. I ran into my online professor from university. Yummy professor? Yummy professor. You remember him? Well, yeah, because it was a very toxic situation. Just in his attitude and beliefs. Yeah, and he really hurt you. It just, I'm fine now. I'm strong. You know that I'm strong. Kelly, well, like, you're in a really vulnerable place right now. I don't think you should be making decisions about who you should be sleeping with. I just need to stay here one more night. Can we just I don't. Stay? Michael has to get back to work. We would never so. stand in the way of love, would we? Let's stay. Are you serious? For Kelly. For Kelly and for the nutty professor, whatever he's called. Oh, oh there he's got my coffee. I'm so thirsty. How many kids do you want? Two planned, one accident. But you're such a planner. Excuse me? 80% planner, 20% a risk taker. <laughs> Careful. Love that about you. What? I said I love that about you. Try it again, just tighten it up a bit. I said, I love you. Vanessa, I love you too. I know. You literally tell me all the time. Mm -hmm. Like 20 times a day sometimes. Did you feel the magic slip away? Well, it's just too much for me. Like, it's just, an, it's like, it's a bit suffocating. Like, you told me you love me in like the first week we were dating. I'm like, hey, what's your last name? Yeah. Like, <laughs> where do you live? Oh, it was a nice moment while it lasted. Thanks so much. Am I in it? Or? Yeah, sort of. Well, I want okay. one, just one, one sec. Just one for my... Michael, get out!